Hi everyone. In the previous video, we have discussed about the mechanism of left occipital anterior position. Here in this video, I am going to explain about the mechanism of right occipital anterior position that is ROA. But in this video, I will be just taking the exam points that is what is expected out of a student during the practical examination. If someone is telling you to do the left of, uh, occipital anterior or right occipital anterior during practical examination what you are supposed to tell only that points I will be dealing in this. If you want to have the explanations in detail you just see the previous video. So, now let us go to the content first for ROA or uh, for all mechanism we should tell the definition of mechanism as the fetus descends the soft tissues and bony structures exert pressure which force it to negotiate the birth canal through a series of passive movements and these movements are collectively known as the mechanism of labor. As the fetus descends the soft tissues and bony structures exert pressure which force it to negotiate the birth canal through a series of passive movements and these movements are collectively known as the mechanism of labor. There are three principles first one descent takes place throughout the labor second one whichever part comes and meets the resistance of the pelvic floor will rotate forward until it comes under the symphysis pubis third one whichever part emerges out of the symphysis pubis will pivot around the pubic bone here in ROA the lie is longitudinal presentation is cephalic position is right occipital anterior attitude is universal attitude that is flexion denominator is occiput presenting part is posterior part of the anterior parietal bone. Now I will just list down the cardinal movements or positional movements these are first one engagement, descent, flexion, internal rotation of the head, crowning, birth of the head by extension, restitution internal rotation of the shoulder, external rotation of the head, birth of the shoulder and body, bilateral flexion. First one engagement. Engagement takes place when the biparietal diameter of the fetal head has passed through the pelvic inlet. In primary gravida mothers, it occurs in the later weeks of pregnancy, but, the, but in multi gravida mothers, engagement may not occur until the labor begins. Here, the occiput point towards the right iliopectinal eminence and the sagittal suture will be in the left oblique diameter of the pelvis and the engaging transverse diameter is biparietal diameter that is 9.5 centimeter engaging longitudinal diameter may be suboccipital frontal diameter that is 10 centimeter. Next one is descent. Descent takes place throughout the labor that is the downward movement of the baby and next third cardinal movement is flexion. The pressure exerted by the pelvic floor muscles and the contraction of the uterus will be acting from the top of the fetus these two things leads to the flexion of the fetal head see the flexion of the fetal head so the suboccipital frontal 10 centimeter diameter will become suboccipital brachmatic 9.5 centimeter next one internal rotation of the head the head rotate 1 by 8th of the circle and comes under the symphysis pubis 1 by 8th of the circle and comes under the symphysis pubis. After this rotation the sagittal suture will be in the anterior posterior diameter of the pelvis. Sagittal suture will be in the anterior posterior diameter of the pelvis. And next one is crowning. At this, at this stage the widest diameter of the head stretches the vulval outlet without any recession of the head even after the contraction is over. See. Now it has crowned. Next birth of the head. Ex head is born by extension. So, sensiput, face and chin sweeps a perineum. 
next moment is restitution it is an untwisting movement of the neck see this untwisting movement of the neck see during the internal rotation of the head there will be a twisting of the neck so this twisting will be corrected by this untwisting movement so it will be moving towards the side from where it has started then next one is internal rotation of the shoulder anterior shoulder comes and meets the resistance of the pelvic floor so this also will rotate 1 by 8th of the circle and it will come under the symphysis pubis so now the by acromion diameter will be in the anterior posterior diameter of the outlet at the same time external rotation of the head also will occur external rotation of the head occurs as the shoulders rotate 45 degree angle at at the same day head rotate externally in the same direction of the restitution and next is birth of the shoulders and body by lateral flexion anterior shoulder impinges under the symphysis pubis while the posterior shoulder distends the perineum and the remainder of the body is borne by lateral flexion lateral flexion towards mother's abdomen thank you for watching this video for getting the future videos please subscribe the channel and press the bell button also thank you